Hey, this is Oasis with OpenTrader, and this is the market analysis and outlook video being shot on Monday night, November 19th. Now, our last video, which was shot Tuesday night, November 13th, we talked about using the 1378 level to establish directional bias, and we were expecting a move away from 1378. We were actually using the 1376 to 78 area as a bull bear zone, and uh, the idea was for ES to make a directional push either to the downside or to the upside. And uh, we also mentioned that if we had to pick a side, we would stick with the downside since we hadn't seen a capitulation move um, on any of these pushes into the 1360s. So we can see that that idea played out very well. We got failure at 1377.75 the next day, and uh, ES sold off from there. And then we had our downside targets at uh, the 63 half open gap the 1355 open gap, and then finally the 1352.75 naked VBUCK. So the following day, ES hit all of our downside objectives, and um, on Wednesday, we actually saw signs of capitulation. We saw the New York Stock Exchange hitting a negative 1400 tick reading, uh, which is a good indication of capitulation to the downside. It's an exhaustion move. And uh, following that, we started looking for long opportunities at support. And the primary support we had below the uh, 49 to 50 area was 40 half to 42 half. And we were actively looking for responsive buyers to be active at that zone and then push it back up towards uh, the 1365, 75 naked VPOC and uh, 1371 to 72. And that idea played out on Friday. The 40 half support held very well, and we got a strong buy response from there. And the initiative buying that we saw on Friday continued into the Sunday night session and uh, Monday's open. And we can see that we just continue to climb higher today, and it ended up being a, kind of a grind, but a trend up day. Um, the first test of 1378, we were expecting some responsive selling, and uh, we did get some chop in this area. But the failure to move below the day session view app and midpoint uh, clued us in that uh, we were seeing some strong buying. And, uh, you know, looking at the NYC tick, we were seeing um, a lot of uh, very high positive tick readings, very shallow pullbacks below zero. The S&P advanced decline was holding above positive 400. The New York Stock Exchange advanced decline was holding above positive 2000. So everything was lined up uh, to support the buy side today. Once we saw that sellers weren't stepping in at 13.78, we shifted our bias and started trading it from the long side. Now, heading into the next couple of days, um, Thursday is uh, Thanksgiving, then we have an early close on Friday. And um, the other idea we discussed in our last video was that in the event that we get a push up away from 13.78, then we expect responsive sellers to be active on the first push up. And that idea still remains in play. So if we continue pushing higher, which uh, there's a good probability that we will continue pushing higher from here, then we do expect responsive sellers to enter the market pretty uh, aggressively around uh, 1392, 1394, and uh, then the key level being this high volume node at 1396.75. Uh, we see this as being the short term ceiling over the next day or two. And uh, in the event that we do continue pushing higher, we're going to look for responsive sellers in this 1392 to 1396.75 area. And we'll expect a pullback down towards uh, 1378 again off the zone. Uh, now, we are going to be using 1377.75 as a key support level heading into tomorrow. And uh, we'll be gauging the strength or weakness of the market based on how well the S&P can hold above this 1377.75 um, composite VPOC, which is the highest volume node in this current balance area that we're trading. So if we start trading below it, then uh, we'll look to sell the bounces, and uh, we'll be targeting the naked VPOC at 1365.75, and uh, then the Monday lows. And if we really start selling off, then there is potential that uh, we could tag the open gap 59.75 and finally the 1356 area. Uh, this high volume node over here, 1352 half, 
is a very good spot to uh, initiate longs, very good trade location. And the first test of this area down here around 52, 53, we would expect uh, at least 10 or 15 point bounce back up towards 65 to 70. So uh, those are the ideas heading into the next few days. Uh, you know, right now, buyers short term are in control and uh, we're seeing a reversal to the upside. But uh, we think that that upside reversal is going to stall by 1392 to 1396. So we'll start looking for more selling opportunities once price gets uh, into that zone. And then in the event that we get a pullback, uh, we'll be using some of these levels down here to initiate longs. And uh, we're just going to trade the range, essentially. You know, So we're not expecting a continued directional move above 1400 in the shortened holiday week. And uh, we're not expecting the S&P to push to new lows uh, in this holiday week either. So we're expecting more of a balanced scenario over the next week or so. And, um, you know, like I said before, we could still head higher, but once we do, we'll start looking to sell. And if we head lower, we'll start looking to buy uh, the pullbacks and play it as a range trade. So uh, those are our ideas. Let's keep an eye on 1377.75 and see how well that level holds. And then uh, that'll give us a good idea on how strong or weak the S&P is right now. Hope everyone trades well this week. Um, one last item, the uh, CME trading hours for the equity indexes, uh, the futures and options changed today. We'll post a link in our post to uh, the PDF with more information, but uh, it's certainly something to be aware of. So at this point, the ES stops trading at 315, reopens at 330, but for the same trade date, and then trades for another 45 minutes into 415 p.m. Central, and then we get a 45 minute break. And then the overnight session begins at 5 p.m. Central. So this will affect the overnight high and low. And uh, you know if you're using any automated indicators or uh, the way that you have your charts set up, for example, in Market Delta, you will have to adjust uh, your charts and uh, make sure that your sessions, you know, your 24 hour session and your overnight session is set up appropriately and uh, is uh, adjusted for the change in the trading hours. So just want to point that out. Aside from that, wish you all a great Thanksgiving and uh, we'll catch you next week.